Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Pixels. Koko, Kimi, and Kanetsu are here with our guest Ryan, and we are continuing Danganronpa 2. I've been so lonely. <laughs> and time to end the episode. <laughs> okay, good. that's it folks, we're going home. Oh, another week of loneliness. <laughs> Oh, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> you were just making his creepy voice. I know. <laughs> Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. <laughs> I'm sorry for saying this, Kanetsu, but... So you picked this guy, uh, cause you wanted to make his, uh, him sound stupid. But I actually think you gave him a kind of sexy voice. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, Coco, get out. <laughs> no, Coco, get out. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll just finish Danganronpa 2 on our own. <laughs> Alright. Uh, handing over the controls to Kime. Bye, guys. <laughs> Good to know Coco likes trash. <laughs> you should that know is this true. already. You should know that this is, already. That is true. Right. That is very true. <laughs> <laughs> More evidence for a call out. And, uh... <laughs> oh, you want to go, Ryan? You want to do Ooh, this? Wow. <laughs> so what? What are we doing? <laughs> I've been waiting for you. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't really think that's your line. <laughs> But I think this one's yours. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, no, now, you know what? Credit to get out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just running <laughs> key right now. <laughs> Everyone's banned. <laughs> uh, I, I think Ryan just died. <laughs> Ryan disconnected. <laughs> no, I'm here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what a way to start this off. <laughs> so yeah, Dangan Rumpa, guys. Hinata, this is your line. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Ah, let's see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? Like friends? No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys? It's okay, just make your point. Oh, man. There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? Why, the characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me! I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. Friends. Oh no. What should we do? Mm, I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Run, Coco. That's not how you check on Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good Ryan. Three hope. <laughs> yes. Apparently, everyone's gathered at the airport on the first island. To solve this case, we need to get information from them. 
from the girls who are believed to be characters in the game. Hey Chiaki, can you give me a summary of that game? A summary of Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? You just played it, Deuces. First, <laughs> it's, it's for the viewers. <laughs> first, the characters who appear in it are... High school girls, girl A, B, C, D, and E. There's also guy F who appears in the end, and... The high school girl... <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> The high school girl who got killed at the beginning, right? During the game's first day, a murder occurred in the music room, and the five high school girls are the first ones to discover the body. However, they don't want to get involved, so they end up pretending that they didn't see the body. On the second day, the murder case made the newspaper, and an article stated that a pervert was the killer. People never found out about the five girls, but in fact, Girl D had taken pictures of the crime scene. The girls were afraid that they'd be cursed, but Girl E got angry and ripped the photos to shreds. Mm. Next is the third day. Girl D summons Girl E and shows her a certain photo. It's a photo of a piece of a broken vase that was in the classroom next to the crime scene. Girl E gets really upset and throws that photo in the garbage. Except she kind of just let it, you know, lying on the ground oh. where anyone could find it. But ah, girl, the details. But girl E didn't know that guy F recovered the photo. And finally, the fourth day. Girl E hears a voice saying, I'll never forgive you, and dies from a blow to her head with a metal bat. That's about it. Yeah, thanks. That was a big help. Ah, oh, Hajime! Over here! No. <laughs> over here. Miken, Ibuki, Hijoko are all here and no one else. <laughs> Just a trash can. <laughs> the names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were. Tsumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzurio. Sato? I don't yep. recognize those. Wait. <laughs> yeah. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. <laughs> Huh? It's okay to be absent. I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Executed? I mean, you said Mama Kuma had something important to tell us, right? We, we, we can't be. Sorry, that was a lie. You tricked us! What the heck? I... Fine! Then I'm leaving! I like the eternal pineapple. But just coming through <laughs> again and again. 
Can you wait until we finished our business with you? Right, Hajime? This is like... I'm on the same team as Nagito. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. Uh, hey, Buki. Can I ask you something? Bring it on! Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? Mm. Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Call yourself punk. <laughs> a boo is a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Heronicton and Hyper Energy. There was a character like that in the game, too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiru? Huh? You mean that in a perverted way? No, in a normal way. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mahiru was... Hmm... Hmm... Ah! When I asked Mahiru this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointing face. A disappointing face? Yeah, but disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with department store rooftops. Let's stay focused on my hero. It turns out, Mahiru had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... Um, do you know what she meant by everyone? Ah. No, I didn't ask. I see. Mahiro invited Ibuki. Why? Oh. <laughs> Oops. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mikan? No, since we said we weren't going to play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow, and I panic instantly. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mahiru? Relationship with Mahiru? You mean in the perverted way? <laughs> <laughs> I I first met her um when we gathered at the classroom with everyone else, and after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her. But... Uh, oh! Could it be... Did Mama Hero hate me? <laughs> That's definitely it! She hated me! 
She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. Oh god! Even though she hated me, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Hmm? Invite? This morning? She... she looked very serious and she was wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But... but, but I already had plans to go to the beach so I had to decline because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'll reschedule for another day. But, but, but if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> My hero invited me, Ken? Why? I see. Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies. Based on that... It seems like Mahiro also beat that game. Why... Why do you know that? If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. But in her case, it was much more serious. Probably. I mean, he was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. Mm. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mahiru would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Nagito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? What? Huh? What? I remember. Anyway, what happened to Mahiro? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? You said you did to me. <laughs> that son is so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. She wouldn't even feed me bread. <laughs> That's disrespectful toward Mahiru. What's going on with your hair, buddy? Super Saiyan 3 is activating. <laughs> There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. <laughs> At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. That's all it was! What the heck? But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. If Mahiru spoke to everyone who appeared in that game, she should have talked to you too, right? Well, Hiyoko? <laughs> she never talked to me at all! Man, what a surprise! I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. So, I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now. Uh, uh, hey, Hijoko! <laughs> 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 
Ignoring my voice, Hiyoko ran away as, th as though she were avoiding me. <laughs> Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. I'll see you again later! Oh, uh, hey! Oh, are you feeling lonely yet, Hinata? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Chiaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime. But let's go over to Mahiro's cottage first. Mahiro's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. <gasps> she might have that. Oh, the ending price. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Mm, uh... That's your cue to say yes. Run, 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 run. Mahiro's cottage. It should be on this side in the very back. Pushes you into the water. <laughs> <laughs> The door. It looks unlocked. Moving after you're told will be too third rate, so I made sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no no. There are others who want to investigate too. Alright. I guess I should go inside. He, was, he wasn't even surprised anymore. He was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, look at that moniker. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to my room, the cottage, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting through the room. That proves Mahiro was here. But she's not coming back. I like how everyone else has space for their own things, and Hajime just has the shelf for the Monokuma dolls. <laughs> uh, then I should... Try looking for a naughty book. Why? Hmm. Oh, no, I was only kidding. Were you? Kidding? Are you that kind of person? Just hoping that if there, a, if there was one, I could toss it out the window and want go after it. <laughs> Jeez. Well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Oh, wait. Could that be the reason she said that? But it looks like we don't have to search for it. Check out that thing on top of the bed. The naughty book? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, on top of the bed? What about that thing that's there, like behind the TV? What? <laughs> I don't know, there, there, there's something weird. Catching! Yeah. 
these photos. But Hiro must have taken them. She probably developed them at the supermarket. Look at that giant lens, god. <laughs> Even in this situation, there's a lot of photos of smiling people. Is that because of her personality? Just like my cottage, it has an open design that evokes a feeling of tropical relaxation. There's not much that catch my eye. There's an envelope on top of the bed. Could it be? This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat that game. What's inside the envelope? Is it gonna be like those pictures from the first game? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out! I turned over the envelope and what came finding out was... A naughty book. Naughty photos. <laughs> a few photos. This photo. Ah. This is a photo of Miken, Ibuki, and Hiyoko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It's just like that game. There was a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight Tree Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because girl A was late, and girl D tried to cheer her up by taking her picture. Is this the photo she took? Huh? Look at this photo too. A broken vest? Is that the same photo Girl D showed Girl E on the third day? As I recall, a broken buzz was in the classroom next to the music room. But uh, this photo is more shocking. As Chiaki showed me the as Chiaki showed the photo to me, I was stunned into silence. Oh. <gasps> this is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's in the music room. If that if that's the case, could this be a the photo of the first victim? You mean, it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Yeah, the one they blamed on a pervert. No, no comments on how it looks like Sonya? None? No? Alright. <laughs> and one more. This is the last photo. This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. She looks a lot less real now. <laughs> what about now? There we go. <sighs> I mean, it nearly matches her body in the game. The game had better graphics though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no mistake. This is a photo of girl E. And that is someone we don't know. Ooh. With that, we finished looking at all the photos. So base. Could, could you people stop stealing my lines? No. 
So based on all these photos. <laughs> <I'm it. laughs> yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. And Hinata just sits there on the couch, like, <laughs> waiting for her to finish talking to herself. <laughs> this is the ending prize for building Twilight. And what's depicted in these photos? Proves that Twilight Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. Do, does that mean that stuff about her memories being stolen? Huh? What's this? Is there something else? There's a note inside the envelope. Try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. D this note... Uh huh. Maybe the first person to beat the game and receive the ending prize. Wasn't Mahiru. Someone else sent this to my hero. And that person is the one who actually will receive the ending prize. My hero wasn't just lured there by Nagito. She also received this envelope. And that's why she played that game, right? Then... The person who played this game first... This envelope... It looks very familiar. And there was sister written in this note. Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. And with that, we will end this episode right here. Well, wow, Heidi. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. Foreshadowing? <laughs> nah, not really. When your numbers are down to six, I don't really think you can afford to be picky about who's in and who's out. <laughs> <laughs>